Welcome to the Nexus 2 resource guide. In this video, we will be discussing how to use the Nexus 2 Python interface. This video will not be discussing how to write Python scripts, but rather is intended to show you how to use them. This video will discuss the versions of Python that are compatible with Nexus 2, where to find the Nexus 2 Python help, and how to use the Nexus 2 Python interface. The Nexus 2 Python interface is only compatible with Python 2.7. At this stage, it is not compatible with Python 3. An instance of Python, specifically Python 2.7.6, is installed when you install any version of Nexus 2. As I'm using Nexus 2.8, the latest version of Nexus 2 at the time that this video was made, we can see that it has been installed in the Nexus 2.8 folder in program files x86. We can also interface with more recent versions of Python 2.7 that are installed directly on the C drive. If you would like to use the Windows version of Python 2.7, you will need to download and install it from the Python website directly. With whichever version of Python you choose to use, please make sure that you've installed your modules in the correct locations. An easy way for you to download and install useful modules, such as NumPy and SciPy amongst others, would be to go to the Anaconda website which can be found at the website displayed on the screen. Just remember to download and install the Python 2.7 32-bit version of the Anaconda modules. An excellent resource on how to learn about the Nexus 2 Python interface is via the Nexus 2 online help. We can access the online help by going to help, view latest help from vicon.com, and this will open up a web page. Here, we can type in Python, and we can see that the results are modeling with Python, Python commands for use with Nexus, and set up Python for use with Nexus. By default, to use the Nexus 2 Python interface, you must be online as the two programs communicate via TCP IP. However, if you do require the interface to be used offline, you can install the loopback adapter, the instructions of which are provided at the website displayed on the screen, or from the Nexus 2 Python help. There are a number of ways we can access the Nexus 2 Python interface. You can run a script from the Tools pane pipeline list. You can access Nexus 2 via a Python interpreter such as PyCharm or Idle. Or you can run the Python shell, which is what I will be doing to show you how to create the Nexus object in Python, how to display the list of available Nexus 2 commands within Python, and then finally, how to display the command help for a Nexus 2 command. After launching the Python shell, we need to import the Nexus module, and we do this by typing import Vicon Nexus. Now we need to create the Nexus object by typing Vicon equals Vicon Nexus dot Vicon Nexus. Now that we have created an object, we can see the list of functions available to us by typing Vicon dot display command list. If we want to view the help for an individual command, we type in vicon.display command help. And then in brackets, the name of the command that we want to view. In this case, I've chosen get trajectory as my command. And here we can see that the help for that function has been displayed. We can add more Python operations by either double clicking on the run Python operation or by clicking and dragging it into the current pipeline. If we want to keep track of the operation name, with the operation highlighted, we can single click on it and give the operation a name. You can choose whether you use the Nexus Python or the Windows Python by showing the advanced properties and selecting or deselecting Use Nexus Python. We can execute both Python scripts and functions from Nexus 2 via the Tools pane Pipelines tab. If we're executing a script, all we will need to do is to load the relevant script and run it. The script in this example will load the left and right ASI markers and will calculate the pelvis origin marker between the two as a modelled marker. The log will provide the list of Python commands that have been executed in Nexus 2 and is useful for any kind of debugging in case your script has any errors. For example, I have deliberately loaded a marker that does not exist in the C3D. 
If we're running a function, we will need to first of all make sure that our Python function has the proper script argument section at the start of the script and a call and command section at the end of the script so that the function can be run through the Nexus 2 pipeline operations. Like a regular script, we will have to make sure that the function file is loaded and that the script arguments have been entered correctly. In this example, I'm going to import the left PSI and right PSI markers, and we'll be creating the sacral marker between them. Per the script arguments section of my function script, I have placed two dashes before the MKR1, MKR2, and output tokens, and they are followed by their respective inputs the left PSI and right PSI markers, and the sacral marker which will be created. Now, when I run the script, we can see that the sacral marker will be created in the 3D perspective and in the modeled marker list. We have also provided some example functions which can be found at the file path displayed on the screen. Please be aware that future releases of Nexus 2 may have more functions included. For the final demonstration, I'm going to use a script written in idle to plot the x, y, and z coordinates of the newly created sacrum marker. While I'm using idle in this example, I can use another interpreter such as PyCharm. As I'm using Python externally, there are a few extra lines of code I will need to include at the start specifically import sys and the Nexus 2 file paths. Please note that while I'm using Nexus 2.8 in this example, it's worth changing the Nexus 2 folder in your script when you install later versions of the software, as the functions in the subsequent releases will be the most up to date. I'm now importing Nexus. I'm importing the matplotlib module, connecting to Nexus, importing the subject, importing the foot strikes, importing the sacrum model output and cropping the data to the foot strikes and finally plotting the x, y, z components of the sacrum model output. Now, when I execute the script in idle, we can see that it has pulled the data from Nexus 2 and has plotted it in Python. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions regarding the Nexus 2 Python interface or any other hardware or software related questions, please don't hesitate to email us at support at